Let's get ready, drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. No, we're on the red line side and autonomous team 7457 has scored some of the power cells into that high goal while their partner 5480 is scoring into the lower port. And as our tele-operated period begins, we see the Blue Lions is hard at work collecting those power cells to make some scores. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the, over on the Red Alliance time, Team 829 from the Blue Alliance is starting to play some defense on 74-57 to stop them from scoring. Team 5480 is also playing some intense defense, or offense, <laughs> while 829 is playing defense. Team, both Team 40, 447 as well as 7657 over on the Blue Lions scoring, while Team 4580 from the Red Alliance is over in their loading bay collecting some power cells from their human player. There's still some pretty intense defense happening over on the Red Alliance side as Team 3147 attempts to score some of their power cells into that higher goal. We have just under a minute left in the uh, qualification match 47 with a score of 77 to 55 in favor of the Red Alliance. Speaking of the Red Alliance, Team 7457 is collecting some of the power cells from that loading bay as well to go over and attempt to score still in this match. Well, it looks like Team 829 might be attempting to get ready in order to get ready for that end game. And it looks like for the Blue Alliance, we have three robots that might attempt to get up for that climb, while the Red Alliance is also getting into position. With 15 seconds left, it looks like all three robots are at least hooked onto that bar. It looks like all six robots are trying to climb with five seconds left. Looks like the scores are in for qualifications match 47. And the winner is the Red Alliance. Talking, talking. Which means that Team 7457 ah, okay. will maintain their this number one rank as well as their other two teams on their alliance will move up in their rankings as well.